Hi everyone. Give this a second to start going. <laughs> you know, technical stuff here. All right. Well, welcome. Hi. My name is Trisha Chuba, and this is Butter Dish Designs Crafty Hour, episode 71. And I welcome you. I don't know if you saw it, but I did invite you to craft along with me tonight, not just watch. So if you want to do that, hi, Lisa. Grab a double-sided sheet of six by six paper if you sure you have one or you can cut down on 12 by 12. it just needs to be double-sided and a scoring tool so which you could also do it by pen and ruler pencil and ruler if you had to but this is the tool we're going to be using and uh, yeah it's so simple tonight what we're doing it's an old favorite of mine, but it may be new to you, so I wanted to share it. And the stamp set that we're going to be using today is the Lighting the Way. Hi, Coney. And it's super cute. It's got little fireflies on it. A couple cute sentiments. And the die set that goes with it. You can either cut out stamped fireflies in three si three sizes, or you can just do straight out of like a cardstock, or you can use builder pieces to build multiple layers of different color stuff. And it has this super cute lantern in it. We're not going to be using the lantern tonight, just to let you know, but. Anyways, we're also going to be using the Glorious Gingham 6x6 Designer Series paper, which it's on sale for the month of June, and currently it's $8.92 US, and you get 40 sheets, and it's, I'm trying to see here. of each what is that eight each eight each of each color it's got some really nice colors in it so there is the blueberry bushel the lemon lime twist the pretty peacock the pretty sure that's berry burst it is and then uh the new color pecan pie and so they look the big on this side and then if you flip them over they've got the small so pretty good package of basics that could go far in your craft stash anyways let me show you what we're making and I hope that you'll grab a piece of six by six and Make this with me tonight because it's super simple all right so we are going to be making this little treat pouch this treat pouch can do a lot of different things it is double-sided tea bags it will hold emergency c if someone is sick it will hold a gift card as well. It would hold a little card. You can also stick, like if you're given like emergency C, you could put a lip balm in the middle there or lozenges, little package of them in there, little piece of chocolate, whatever you want. So the sky's the limit. I stuck in this cold water infusion Bigelow Botanicals, which this one is black raspberry hibiscus, and I can't say enough good things about this. Herbal infusion, no caffeine, and you just put it into a bottle of like ice cold water, or if you're on the go, or you can do it at home just in your glass. 
and let it seep for 10 minutes. Oh no, excuse me, eight minutes, not even 10. <laughs> and um, if you want more flavor, you can do that. And it's just a lovely flavor. They have a couple of different flavors. Uh, this is one of my favorites though. So one of the other ones that I like a lot is this one, the watermelon cucumber mint. Actually, I think I like this one better than this one. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm definitely a watermelon girl and uh, love mint. So yeah. So that's the one that I made for the sample, which you can see here on the details. I went ahead and stamped like that little stars and it's actually little teeny tiny fireflies in there, little streams. And then there's the back. And yeah, I'll guarantee you, you'll be able to make things in no time flat. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. And let's just go over how to make it first. And then we'll do a little bit of stamping and put it together. I promise you, it won't bite. And on this one, instead of the blueberry bushel, we're gonna go with a pretty peacock this time, okay? Let me switch this to the solo layout. There we go. Okay. And so the first thing you're gonna do is to fold it in half, corner to corner. So, and I just got out this so I can push a bit of a cushion pad there. And just to kind of get this even, when I'm folding corner to corner, I like to put my first crease down in the middle and then kind of work my way out from there while holding that. It generally gets the job done. So there we go. Step one. Okay. Let me actually go out to, so you can see there, there we go. Try to get off the glare there. All right, so you're gonna go all the way to the side here and you're going to score this using the smaller stylus, not the bigger one, at one half, so half an inch, okay? And I do have to put my finger there, so. So half an inch. Then you're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do half an inch again. And this is because you're scoring two pieces through two layers and you want to make sure you have that there. Okay. So that's step one. Or two, actually. We folded it. Hey, Veronica. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put it up here like so with your long portion of your triangle at the top. And we are gonna score this at two and three quarters of an inch. So here we have two and there is three quarters. All right. Then we are going to flip it and do two and three quarters again. And if you score well enough on this one, it goes through pretty well since there's a little bit more space in there. So you don't have to flip it anymore. So that's it for your scoring tool. That's it. All right. Off to the side. Okay. So we're going to open this up here. And we are going to do our scores on the side. Let's go ahead and fold and burnish that. And we'll do the other side as well. Okay. 
Okay. Pretty simple. Can you see where I'm going with this? Okay, the next thing we need to do is do the first side. So that's just the first half inch score line. Then we will go the other direction and do the second one. And take this time. Well, hi, Sugar Bear. She doesn't come up often while I'm crafting here. So I know you can't see her, but she's right here. She looks. <laughs> That's my old girl. So there we go. And then what you can do is take the reverse here and make that shape there. All right. And so then we're going to put a hole punch in this. Break out with my trusty crocodile here. You're all right, chicks. And I'm going with the smaller hole. Just make sure you've got that together. hole there all right so that's our main piece and we're done with that for now we just need to do a little bit of stamping I'll put that down like so that you can see it put this back can you tell I use eyelids a lot no I don't because these are all came with the kit originally. <laughs> They're all still there. Uh, I should challenge myself to use a few eyelets. Get rid of those. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and grab out. I've got a scrap piece of the pretty peacock and I'm using this double oval punch and I want the, the background piece the bigger of the two to be that so I'm gonna set that over there that's all I needed it and now I just need a scrap piece couple of that for of the white and let's do a little bit of stamping. I forgot to get this one out. Okay. On this one, I used crushed curry, but on this one, we're going to try with the Daffodil Delight and the Pretty Peacock. So. And save some paper and use this strip here for this top piece. And the reason why I'm punching this out before stamping is because they are photopolymer stamps and I can already see what I'm doing. So there's that. Okay, one of the sentiments on here is thanks for lighting the way. And I don't want that whole thing. Of course, it won't fit in that little piece there. But we are going to do just the thanks on this one instead of the follow your dreams. So make your stamp set work for you more than what it was originally intended. With these photopolymers, it makes it really easy here to see which portion I'm stamping. And I boo-booed on that one end right there because I went too far. But you know what? I have another side. So let's try this again. All right. 
it. And we're good to go. Stamp and chamois here. Okay. I wanted to stamp this in here as well. And then we will do the actual lightning bugs on a separate piece and die cut them out. There we go on that. And yes, you could do these in black, whatever, but I'm just coordinating with the paper. So I am going to do them in the pretty peacock. These are small, so I should be able to get all of them out of this one piece of scrap here. I really got number one. And I'm spreading these out so that when I put them through the die machine, I can do it all at once. This one is so wee, so tiny. All right, clean these real quick. Okay, there we go. Let me grab the dies for these. With these dies in particular, <laughs> this one is super tiny, so is this one. Save yourself some frustration. Hi, Mom. Sending you lots of love. So. Glad you made it and you're enjoying it. So we're going to put that one there. That one there. And what did I tell you? This thing is super tiny. We're going to need some washi tape. Which I happen to have right here. Because I am going to put a little piece on each one of these. To keep them in and I recommend washi or something that's low tax so that it doesn't tear your card stock. Okay. Turn this so I can see it. Oops. See, I just moved it myself. I haven't even got very far. All right. There's that. And this little one, <laughs> and I tell you this from my own stubbornness when I was making that sample, <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't need any of this tape. I can just do this really quick. You leaving, Shugs? Bye, sugar. I said, yeah, I can do this. Well, no, I couldn't. I ha had to take this. All right. So I've got my cut and emboss machine here. You could definitely run this through your little one, but I just happen to have this one right here. So we're going with this one. All right. 
Yay! Get these off of here. So here we go. Three different sizes of lightning bugs. Do you call them lightning bugs? Some people call them other things. I've always called them lightning bugs. So put that off to the side there. The last thing that I am going to do before we start putting this together is I want to give it a little rear end its light. So I am going to use a water painter here and the Daffodil Delight. I'm giving that a squeeze. Thanks, Coney. And got some water going here. And all I'm going to do is just watercolor their little bums so that <laughs> they light up. That sounds so silly. All right. Hold on this last one. Not going to take much. And it turned a little bit of the green color, but that's all right. Clean that off. All you have to do is wipe it off on your paper. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this together. I am going to adhere this straight down with glue. There's my boo-boo on the back. Remember, <laughs> we're hiding it. No harm, no foul. It worked out. That's why you've got two sides. This double oval is so nice because it just adds that nice layer there. Okay. I'm going to glue this little one up here. Go. Put the medium size one. Actually, I better put the glue over here because I'm not. Hanging off just a little bit. There we go. This one's going on the back. We're going to be using the mini dimensionals here. And because we're going to be straddling this V, we are going to be putting this on closer to the outside of the wings there. That off to the side. And the same with this one here, which this one doesn't really need many, but so we will do the regular size and again to the outer edges so that you can straddle that V. And I'm going to unfold this flat so that I can give it a good push as I put it down here. There is that. And then let's turn it over here. Oh, excuse me. Here, I'm gonna. And if you noticed on this part when I was folding it, there's no glue. So super easy there. All right. I have on this one, I did the white ribbon tied with the white. And on this one, 
I like it because it's big though. So we'll go ahead and do this. If you wanted to, because this is white ribbon, you can go ahead and color it with alcohol markers, your Stampin' Blends, and get a different color. But I think the white really pops against the gingham. I'm just going to cut that at an angle. Use that point from the angle to feed it through the hole there. The holes, I should say. Maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did the sample, no problem. And here we are. All right, there we go. Cooperate. And I actually like this particular ribbon when it frays a little bit, so I'm okay with that. So there's that part. Now we are going to do our Baker's Twine Essentials and get out that white. You could also color that as well with the blends if you wanted to change up the color. And I did double knot that, double bow it. So we're gonna give, I'm gonna give myself ample enough ribbon here. And I'm not even tying the big one at all. I'm just simply securing it with this twine. So you don't have to bow everything. You can just use this. Just that to where you want it. And now I can bow this one. And there we go. Do you need to trim this part up just a smidge? All right. So let's stick that, this one, and that one. Summertime treats, anytime treats, really. Super cute for gathering. This doesn't take long at all. I mean, it's. 7.29. It wasn't even 30 minutes, and I talked a bit first, so. <laughs> Anyways, so there's our two. There we go. Then you can see them on the sides. And then here's the back. Oh, I forgot the gems. We take that back. We need to decorate. Need a little bit of, a little bit of bling on there. Can't forget the bling. Got the iridescent pearls here. There's that. These are in two sizes, the big and the small. Since this one is really wee, I'm going to just put the wee one there. And on the back, I did some too, because why not? There we go. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Coney. Yes, I think it's 
It's a good one there. We'll go back to the cell. So. Hi again. <laughs> I hope you guys will give this a try. It's super easy. And get rid of some of those six by six papers you have lying around. And uh, make somebody's day. Give them a little treat. Take These are easy because they collapse too. So it would be easy to put one or two in your purse and hand them out. And just random acts of kindness go a long way. Especially nowadays. So anyways. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And that um, a good weekend. This weekend, my work, we are doing construction. If you don't know what construction is, Google it. It's a lot of fun. We have designed, based on the theme, a we're going to be building a sculpture on Saturday at Park Place Mall here in Tucson. And it is going to be a sculpture made out of food cans food materials what it does is that we build these based on the theme and then the food gets donated to the community food bank so it's a really good cause and it's a lot of fun and if you're in Tucson we'd appreciate your vote because if you go over they'll have a little QR code that you can scan and vote and they pass out awards for the best sculpture and looking forward to it the theme is is space this time so i'll I have to share a picture of what we built because it's going to be pretty amazing i'm super excited so anyways that's it for tonight have a great night thanks so much for watching see you next week Bye bye